I can't believe this. I mean, I knew I had a twin brother, but I never thought he'd be a serial killer madman. Yes, that's right. Why, Bill? Why did you do it? It's all your fault! <clears throat> Me? How on earth is it my fault? Enough excuses! It's not an excuse, I swear. It's all your fault, and it always will be. I hate you, and I hate everyone with a burning passion! <sighs> Bill, please don't hold a grudge against me. None of this is my... I don't want to hear any more of your excuses. Just go away. Just, just go away and just get out of here. I never want to speak to you ever, ever again. Fine, I will. You alright, son? <sighs> no, Bob. Not really. Do, do you want to talk about it? I might as well. Just sit down. Do you remember what happened three months ago? You're going to have to be more specific, sir. I'm referring to the time when you, me, and Gary were sent to save some kids from a serial killer. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember I took them home after you and Gary went after the serial killer and you arrested him, right? What about it anyway? Bob, there's something that's been bothering me since then. Oh, what is it? That serial killer is my brother. Wait, what? That's right. Psycho Bill is my twin brother. Oh my god. I didn't know that. You must be devastated, sir. Yes, I am. I... I, I just can't believe it. I... I... Oh, why do bad things always happen to me? <laughs> so what you're saying is, is, if I steal something to lure him out, I can kill him, right? Alright, I see. Don't worry, boss. I'll make sure he's dead by the end of the day, okay? Goodbye. Oh yes, I could steal that off for a load of money. <laughs> Call the police. Not on your life! Oh my god, it's got a gun! Yeah, you better run.
Oh my god. I can't believe that's what's happened. I'm not letting him get away with this, I'm calling the police. Look, sir, I know you're upset about the situation, and I totally understand it, but you can't let it keep upsetting you. It's not the end of the world, you know. Maybe you're right, Bob. Maybe I really do need to get over it. But it's just an unfortunate... Excuse me a minute, sir. Hello? Officer William is speaking. Why did I have to be related to a lunatic? Sorry about that, sir. Someone just reported a crime to me. What is it exactly? Apparently some juvenile delinquent stole some figure from this man. Why on earth would he do that? What could he possibly want with a stupid plastic figure? This is the case of the missing queen all over again! Search me, sir, but theft is a crime and we must stop it. Why don't you come along with me? <sighs> I don't think I'm really up for it. Oh, come on, sir. It'll be fun. And it might take your mind off your evil twin brother. Well, okay. As long as this case has nothing to do with him. Oh, that's the spirit. Come on, sir. Cheer up. I might even let you drive if you want. Well, I don't get to drive police cars very often. Yeah, I suppose that'd be nice. Thanks, Bob. Don't mention it. So, what did this thief look like exactly? Well, I don't know his name yet, but the person who called me said that the thief was wearing a hat and a hoodie. Oh, I see. So, we'll just have to find someone who fits that description and just see if they have the plastic figure on them. Pretty much, sir. Alright then, let's go find this thief. You go this way, I'll go that way. If you find anyone suspicious, radio me. Yes, sir. Any moment now that detective will be here, and soon he'll be dead. Excuse me, sir. May I have a word with you? Sure. What's up? I am Detective George Coleman. I work for the police. My partner and I have been sent to go look for a thief who stole a plastic figure. Oh yeah, and um, how does that concern me? Well, apparently the thief was wearing a hoodie and a cap. And you, sir, you fit the description very well. You calling me a thief? Not unless you prove that you're not a thief, sir. So, please let me check your pockets, and if it's not there, then I will let you go. All right, you got me. Just as I thought. Oh, so it was you. Well, you're under arrest. But before I cuff you, I do have to ask, how did you steal it? It was a diversion. A diversion? For what? Didn't you say your name was George Coleman? Yes. Why? That's all I needed to know. What the fuck is your problem? Sorry, George. I'm under strict orders to kill you. Orders? From who exactly? 
part of your brother. My, my brother? And quite frankly, I would kill you too if only if I still had my axe on me. No! My evil twin brother hired you to kill me? Yes. It was never really about the figure. That was just a diversion to lure you out. And it worked. You won't kill me if it's the last thing you do. Drop your weapon right now and surrender! <laughs> I don't think so, mate. <laughs> You're no match for me, pig. Ow! And now it's time for you to die. Any last words? Okay, you know what? Just do it. Just kill me. I don't care anymore. Wait, what? You heard me. Just kill me already. You actually want me to kill you? Yes. My life hasn't been the same since I found out that Psycho Bill was my twin brother. For many years, I really hoped to finally meet him, only to find out that he's evil. It's very disappointing to me. So just go ahead, kill me, kill me now. You'll be doing me a favor. Okay, if that's what you want. <laughs> what just happened? You have the right to remain silent! Bob, you saved me. Of course I did, sir. What was I supposed to do? Just let him shoot you? Are you alright? Yes. I am now. Sorry, right. just sit down here. Just sit down here, boss. Oh. It's fine. I'll call you an ambulance when I can. Just hang in there. Okay. Right. Hello. Can I get an ambulance, please? My boss has just been shot. The reason he stole the figure is because it's worth a lot of money. Since there's this diamond in it, and he was planning to sell it off. Oh, um, okay then. He also did it just to lure you out, so that he could kill you. And your brother was the one that hired him. Yes, that part I know already, because he told me. All right. Anyways, how are you now, sir? Honestly, I feel much better now. I'm good. But how come? Because, Bob, for too long, I've been feeling miserable and useless. But after you saved my life, I realized that life isn't so bad after all. Because even though my brother doesn't care about me, someone else does, which is you. Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome, sir. I'm going to be all right from now on.